Common bread machine problems and solutions. Okay, you can't quite figure out why your latest loaf collapsed or is shaped like a mushroom. Here, I have a list of common problems you might encounter while making bread in a bread machine and how to fix these problems. Before I get to the troubleshooting, let's make sure you've got the basics right first, as these can fix most of the problems you may encounter. Not all the bread makers are created equal, so always make sure that you check your manual. Each bread machine has a series of functions and programs that are programmed for different tasks. Besides, it may come with custom-made recipes that are made specifically for that particular bread maker. If you have always made bread by hand or you've had a different bread maker before, you probably need to adjust your recipes. Also, many of the problems that you'll encounter can be fixed just by checking your dough during the kneading cycle. This gives you the opportunity to make adjustments and prevent problems before they happen. So, what to look for when checking the dough? When your bread maker is kneading, your dough should form a nice ball. If the mixture cannot hold itself together, leaving dough trailing or sticking, you will likely need to add flour. If the ball looks dry and there is flour that hasn't been absorbed, you might need to add a bit of liquid. Okay, now let's look at some common problems that could happen when using a bread machine. Your loaf is too small or dense. The most likely culprit is the yeast. Good yeast is essential to form the small bubbles that give bread its light texture and help the loaf rise. Yeast is a living organism, so check the date on the packet and make sure you use yeast that is actually live and as fresh as possible. Fast-acting yeast is best for bread machines. Depending on the bread machine, you will want to use half a teaspoon of instant yeast for every one cup of flour. You may need to increase this amount for shorter bread cycles, according to manufacturer guidelines. Of course, fast-acting yeast is not the only yeast you can use in bread machines. Different types of yeast have different properties and require different ways of using them. Because yeast has such an essential role in baking, I have written a detailed article covering all the best yeast and how to use them correctly in bread machines. Just follow the link in the description below this video for all the tips and tricks for using yeast. Next one is, your bread is bumpy and uneven. If your bread doesn't have a nice even shape, it's usually the result of having too much flour. It would also make the loaf too dense. Check the dough during the kneading cycle and adding more liquid will usually fix the problem. Your loaf has an uncooked gummy texture. In this case, your loaf just needs to be baked a bit longer Try using longer settings, especially if you are trying a recipe that wasn't designed for your bread machine. However, if that is not the case, then the problem is likely to be too much liquid. So check for that during the kneading cycle. Also, gummy and raw texture can indicate that the bread machine is not working properly and has a defective thermostat. Suppose you have eliminated all the other causes and this still keeps happening. In that case, the faulty thermostat is most likely to blame. Your loaf has collapsed or sank in the middle. This can be caused by a variety of factors. In most cases, it is incorrectly measured ingredients, especially yeast. Just a small spoonful of more or less of an ingredient is enough to change the bread's consistency and if it would collapse in the middle. Also, check that your yeast is not out of date. If it is, consider adding a little bit more to help it rise. Also, too much yeast could cause the sinking of the loaf. Too much yeast makes a loaf rise too early and then collapse. The next most common culprit that could make the loaf collapse is too much liquid in your dough. Going back to the first point in this video, check your dough while kneading. Your dough should be a rounded, smooth ball. If it looks too wet, add flour. If it seems too dry, add water. Just add a tiny bit. A teaspoonful will be enough most of the time, or until you achieve the right consistency. Alternatively, 
you might need to add a little salt. Salt helps add flavor and works with the protein in the flour to strengthen the gluten, helping ensure the bubbles are trapped. It's also possible that the problem isn't your recipe. If your kitchen is too warm or too humid, this will affect the rising of the dough, meaning that it rises too quickly and then collapses. Opening the bread machine during the bake cycle can also cause the loaf to collapse in the middle. So don't open the lid while the bread is baking. Your loaf looks like a mushroom. When the loaf you baked turned out like the mushroom cloud that follows a nuclear explosion, then in most cases, it is happening because ingredients weren't correctly proportioned. However, suppose you used a proven recipe and measured everything accurately. In that case, the mushroom shape could be simply because of the small pan size. Most problems you encounter have an easy fix. It just takes some trial and error to troubleshoot and eliminate these problems. If there are some problems I did not cover in this video, or you are still not sure how to fix some issues, then follow the link in the description below this video for my full article, where I go into more detail on how to fix common bread maker problems so you can bake a perfect loaf every time. Check it out now!